Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I fixed a small power steering leak on my 2005 Toyota RAV4. Now in order to get a better look at the power steering pump assembly, I went ahead and raised the vehicle on jack stands, removed the passenger side tire, and removed the plastic splash shield. Because I cleaned the area before I started the car, I was able to find where the leak was coming from. And there it is, about five minutes after turning the wheel lock to lock, I was able to see fluid seeping through the suction port bolt. So what is a suction port union? Well, let's take a closer look. Here's a factory service manual diagram and it illustrates where the O-ring keeps the fluid from seeping out. So as you might have guessed, I took a trip to my local dealer and bought the O-ring for less than $5. Oh, and I knew this was going to get messy, so I try to prepare as much as possible. So a drain pan, a funnel, and a little hose should do the trick. Well, sort of. Next, I went ahead and removed the old O-ring with a hook tool. Not sure where it went after I pulled it off, but it doesn't matter. Here's the new one. I think it's a good idea to lubricate it with the fluid before putting it in so it goes in nice and smooth. Now it's time to put the bolt back on, make sure it's nice and tight, and clean everything off. Now it's time to fill the power steering reservoir with some fresh, clean ATF. Start her up. Ooh, that sounds a little noisy, but that's okay, because I got the vehicle raised up on jack stands. I'm turning the steering wheel lock to lock and do this about 20 times. Okay, now that sounds better. I've ran this for about eight minutes now and I see no leaks. Sweet, we're in business.